Whether the apocalypse is wrought by man or by nature, believers are certain that ancient Egyptian prophecy and current events are converging and that the doomsday countdown has begun. But they also suggest that this scenario has a twist. This is what's so fascinating. Secrets that may lie within the Great Pyramid that have not been discovered, that may give mankind a whole new meaning to our existence, our origin, and our future. Some speculate that these secrets reside in a hidden chamber in or near the Great Pyramid that has eluded discovery for more than 4,000 years. They speculate further that the few who might survive the prophesied apocalypse could benefit from the treasures we might find there. Speculation about what these secrets are ranges from a hall of records illuminating all of ancient history to proof that an advanced civilization older than Egypt built the Great Pyramid. If there is a secret hall of records, many believe the ideal places to search for it are along the long, narrow shafts extending from the interior chambers. They're called air shafts, and that's probably not what they were, and no one really knows what their purpose was. In recent years, remote-controlled robots deployed by archaeologists ventured to the ends of the shafts and found dead ends at small doors. And we still don't know what's behind them. So that, to me, is the nearest thing to the possibility of a secret chamber at Giza. Some archaeologists believe that the greatest secrets of all lie buried beneath the pyramid's brooding guardian, the Sphinx. The Egyptian authorities kind of allowed a exploration using non-destructive methods. So they use seismographs, and then they use radars. This went on till 1996. And under the left paw, they discovered a cavity, maybe about the size of a storage closet. And nobody's gone down there. I hope we get permission from the Egyptian authorities, at least some researchers, to be able to, to go down underground and explore this area and find out what's hidden down there. Others believe a hidden chamber lies buried 60 miles from the pyramids, which contains secrets that could fully illuminate the Egyptian prophecy. They think it is somewhere in the ruins of a vast bi-level palace complex known as the Labyrinth. The renowned Greek historian Herodotus toured the labyrinth in the 5th century BC and was apparently awestruck by this architectural wonder that was ancient even in his era. He wrote, If all the great works of the Greeks could be put together in one, they would not equal this labyrinth. The pyramids likewise surpass description, but the labyrinth surpasses the pyramids. Although archaeological digs in the 19th century established the labyrinth's location, virtually no trace of it remains. But some people outside the mainstream entertain a remote possibility that excavations there will redefine our understanding of the Egyptians' doomsday prophecy. In the labyrinth, we will find things that we never expected before. We will find the proof of a high civilization that was destroyed by a polar reversal. But some believe that the most monumental discovery may actually help prevent the predicted cataclysm. They say the key may be to find one of the world's great missing treasures, the apex or capstone of the Great Pyramid. When you look at the Great Pyramid, the one thing you'll notice right away is it's not pointed at the top like a pyramid should be, but it's flat top like it was never finished. The capstone was the most important part of the pyramid. It could have been stolen, lost, destroyed. Maybe it's wishful thinking, but I believe it's gonna be discovered and this is gonna activate the most incredible machine that man has ever been aware of. The pyramids loom as an ominous reminder of the prophecy purportedly made by its builders. But if the apocalypse does finally come, what becomes of the few who may survive? If we all pull together and get through to the other side, 
taking the path of peace and love. That will be, in my opinion, the most important population of human beings to have ever walked the earth.